So there's a new video of President Biden delivering remarks and signing executive orders. You should see the comments. It's a cult fest. I'm betting that they're going to disable the comment section soon. I'll leave a link in the description. It's kind of weird how the sidebar is completely missing from the video. And when the video is done playing, it just shows a giant thumbnail of the video. But in those comments, and in a number of other places that I've seen, people are basically saying that he's not a good leader because he's boring. And yes, he is quite boring. He's boring to listen to, he offers no real drama, and he's not very entertaining. Oh, the horror! People are claiming he's illegitimate because his video was ratioed. And because YouTube has removed half the dislikes. I mean, yeah, that is kind of fishy on YouTube's part. But let's be clear. Popularity on a video sharing website is not an indication of someone's legitimacy as a president. Should we declare that the makers of Baby Shark Dance be part of Biden's cabinet? Does that sound absurd? Well, absolutely. This doesn't mean I think Biden is great. He's a warmonger. He recently reversed Trump's executive order that stopped the divisive critical race theory crap from being crammed down the throats of all government employees. Biden is probably going to push for demographical equity. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I strongly believe in a meritocracy. Having said that, there are images floating around on Facebook, in my feed from some of my friends, and Twitter as well, like this one, that uh, make me kind of angry. I think this sends a dangerous message. This is not the path to unity. If people were only talking about those who supported the insurrection, then, you know, that'd be one thing. But this is a statement about Trump supporters in general. It's not cool at all. Having said that, there are a number of people, a lot of people, who are really pissed off at me because I said negative things about Trump cultists. You know, the people who say that Trump can do no wrong. But even when I word it that way, they take it as if I'm talking about all Trump supporters. You know, they take it personally. They get their panties in a bind. And many of these same people who are pissed off that I'm calling out Trump cultists are the same ones who basically declare that Democrats and the Democrat Party are communists and that Biden is a communist dictator. Black Bloc Antifa? Rioting? Destruction? Looting? Anarcho-communism? Well, according to these people, that's what the Democrat Party represents. We're apparently all just a bunch of commies. Yeah, how does that work? I'm supposed to kiss the asses of people who support an insurrection, while those same people declare that Democrats are communists. I've made it clear multiple times that not all Trump voters and not all Trump supporters are cultists. But you know, that doesn't matter. I'm not supposed to say anything in that direction at all, or I'll be told that I'm not supporting unity. And yet to some of these same people, claiming that Biden is a communist dictator is somehow still calling for unity. Hmm, how does that work? Well, if unity requires that I embrace conspiracy theorists, cultists, insurrectionists, then no, I, I'm simply not going to do that. I'll embrace Republicans, I'll embrace right-wingers, I'll embrace reasonable Trump supporters. I'll even embrace people who say or think that I'm going to burn in hell for eternity for being gay. But to embrace extremists, insurrectionists, and cultists? Uh, no. That's not going to happen. Either way, Biden is our president. You can dislike him. You can say as many negative things about him as you want, as you should, if you don't like the things that he's doing. That's fine. You can even claim that he's not your president. Fine. 
But if you support the notion of bypassing the election and installing someone else, then no, I'm, I'm not going to embrace you or your beliefs. There's nothing at all unifying about your beliefs. As I've said before, the views that I state in my video are my own. I don't just state things because they're popular to say. Now, occasionally I'll chime in about a subject that's popular to talk about, but the views I state are my own. I don't change my views because people don't like what I'm saying. I change my views if I get new information that clashes with what I believed. I'm not a grifter, and I don't monetize my videos. I go out of my way to not monetize my videos. I'm part of the partner program, but I don't monetize my videos. I'm not Sargon. I'm not Pim Tool. I'm not Dave Rubin or Candace Owens. I'm not Simon Parks. I'm not The Quartering. I don't make videos that the only point is to speak against the mainstream narrative in order to get more views. And just because right-wing viewpoints are very popular on this platform, it doesn't mean that's a representation of the general public. And just because I'm on the left doesn't mean I'm a communist. Anyway, that's about all I have to say. Thanks for watching.